Maybe this is where I'll start my vlog again. It's just before 3 o'clock. After looking up my codes that I found, it is that that one that I was uh, talking about that I thought it was that I did the research on. So I'm around time to get those, but I'm just doing my starting my laundry for my all my shit I've been working in the shop. Get that going. Oh, didn't tell you, but yesterday my tow mirrors came in for the diesel. My extendable ones. 18 inches like that. And they're 24 inches fully extended. Something like that. So I'll be able to see around my big ass 36 foot enclosed. And actually be able to see on the side of me. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? And I got the ones that were the heated and they have the turn signals built in them. You can see the little turn signals and they have the turn signals on the side too. Safety, safety, safety. <clears throat> but I'm going to run out. I'm going to take that switch off. Oh, and then, um, yeah. Take that switch off, I'm gonna run to O'Reilly's, get a new one, put that in, we're gonna see what happens. I am think the other, the other two codes came up because of that first one. Sometimes the first one can cause, you know, more codes. So we'll change that out, and that's the one that's really what it's doing. Okay, let's get going. I am sore, holy shit. My hands are killing me, my hips, my back, oh, ibuprofen, and keep moving. Well, that didn't fix it. I texted my buddy, sent him a Snapchat, and he was like, oh, what are the trucks doing? How it's cranking but not firing? He's like, and like I said, he knows everything about Dodges. It's all he's ever owned. And works on it. He's like, it's easy. It's simple. He said, uh, you hit the cam position sensor or the crankshaft position sensor, putting it in. He's like, I do it every time and I have to go get a new crank position sensor because they tell you to pull it out of the way because even the slightest nick on it and you know how that thing fought me. So he was like, uh, we're going out to dinner with the girlfriend. And he's like, he gets a lifetime warranty on all Dodge parts, so we're going to take it off and He's going to come over and going to exchange it. But the idle air control valve was actually bad. I knew that. But we're going to see if we can, I can return it and then have him just warranty out for uh, free. We're going to try. Hey, never hurts that's right. Saves 40 bucks, but I needed that. That's the idle air control. That's what was, I know that was bad. Crank position sensor is not terribly bad to get to, but it ain't easy. It's back underneath, right on the back side back over here. Can't really see. Not terrible bad, so I'm going to get that pulling out. Actually, because he said he can probably be done about, he can be here about 6 o'clock. So the good thing is, it's 4.30 now, that uh, it'll give me time to put my mirrors on the diesel. So give me time to do that. Oh, and since I broke my magnet last night, yep, broke it. Well, I had one for $8.99, it was a kit. The extender with little fingers that come out and grab, a mirror and another magnet, like eight bucks. That's good, I needed one of those. Always wanted one of those little grabbers. Just never wanted to justify spending money on one. Okay, let's, uh. Probably do the mirrors first. We'll see if the mirrors fight me. If not, because I'm gonna get I'll get greasy and oily doing this. And I just showered earlier today. <sighs> At least it'll be done and working and fine. And hopefully, <laughs> what a day. Okay, actually going pretty smoothly. I got the driver's side mirror out. Just had to look up a YouTube video how to pull the door panels off because there's crap there. And here's the stock 
passenger one, what that looks like. And here's the new one, it's telescoped all the, all the way out. I have my, got the side turn signal and the side one in there just like I've had. But then, just, ready? Push it in, and that's just regular for driving around. And still, uh, can't do it without having the brackets in. Okay, perfect. Now let's get the door panel back in and I'll button back up. Hey, something's going smooth so far. Well, holy shit. Everything went good and smooth. But, ha, there's a but, this one. It's cracked underneath here. And when you push it in, it hits the truck. And I just noticed it like it just did not seem right where it sits out in its normal operation. So something got broke because it doesn't sit as far back as it should, and when you push them in, look, you should see light. Almost put my fingers behind there. So, yeah, uh, messaged the sellers on eBay and told them what do we need to do to go about me getting a new one. Do you mean to send back the passenger one in the original box or what? So we'll wait to hear back probably tomorrow, hopefully. I'm not gonna drive this thing till May anyway, so. Oh, I suspend the insurance on it through the winter time from November to May, so. <sighs> Whatever. I need to get out and get that crank center pulled. I know old Paul won't be here in terribly much longer, probably. I need to eat still, too, but. Let's get something done today. Fuck. Sometimes I just love it when something that looks like it's going to be a huge massive pain in the ass working on vehicles like down and around this corner and under this bend and it actually comes out really easy i do love that but it's also nice having the right tools that's for sure paul lied to me he said it was uh two torx bits or two torx screws nope they were allen heads so I really, it's hard to jam my head back there and look. So I had all my Torx out. Don't need those. But, got it out. Yeah, you still can't see. That's where the light shines. Goes back in that corner. Oh, 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 you can see that little hole. See that? Way down there, that little hole. That's where it goes. Back behind the head. I mean, hell, look at one of my extensions. Bam! Had one of my huge extensions out. But it was awesome, because it was able to just go all the way down there and come right out the engine bay. Shit, I don't even think it took me, took me longer to gather the tools up than it actually get it out. But I did do a hell of a number on it, putting it in. Look at that. It's getting the light. Cracked all that. You can see the end where it's all scuffed up and banged up. Yep, that would be my culprit. Like my buddy said, and they said, it's like, it don't take much. Like a little tap or a nick on there, you're supposed to pull them out. I didn't know, and Paul says he never does either. He always ends up messing them up after getting a new one. But now I'm just waiting on him to come back, and we can slap this in. This thing can be done good. Just check all the fluids, and maybe even go see Mom tonight. And when we do go to town, I'm gonna take my propane bottle, so I'm gonna get that unscrewed right now. I'll just be waiting on Paul to show up. Oh, duck a truck. Paul uh, was gonna get ready to be on his way, but he started doing some more looking on that, and uh, we can't, because you know, he has lifetime warranty on pretty much all parts on Dodges, because on all of his because he works you know he works on them so much he always gets the lifetime warranties so we're going to just do that but he has the crank sensor in that for 97 and up mine's a 96 so good thing he looked it up it would look pretty dumb exchanging a 90 
six, you know, and getting a 97 and up. So, gotta go buy one, so head out. Oh, the only good thing was I picked up the propane bottle because last night I said it just shut off and I was so tired and focused on everything. I went and picked it up. I was like, shit, it's still heavy. So I plugged it or uh, screwed the hose back on and ran it up and it was, um, it's still full. It's like half full still. So awesome news there. I just didn't pay attention last time I did it. It just must have, you know, got used so much and so cold that, you know, it actually cold and just brought it out and just needed to expand a little bit more. So good, that's good. Now let's run back to Riley's, get a crankshaft position sensor. And then I should be done. Well, the uh, IAC that I replaced earlier was going bad. So that was why I had when you go in reverse and you put it in the drive, it didn't, uh, it would stall out sometimes. But the whole reason it wasn't starting to do everything was that crank position sensor. I banged the hell out of it. Like I said, came back two minutes putting it in. There she is, purring like a kitten. I'm filling up with getting the tranny fluid set. I don't have any gears yet. I gotta fill this all the way up. It's gonna take a while. So I gotta let it idle, but it has to idle in neutral to get everything up to operating temper, get everything moved about and flood in. So this will be a bit, but I haven't seen any leaks underneath or anything. So awesome. Get this done and go surprise mom. Making sure that hopefully that everything works once it gets up to fluid. Oh, this feels so good to hear this run. So nice. Well, I give up for the night. Everything's as it should be. And I have no gears. None of them. No reverse, first, second, drive, nothing. Check the fluid, I've checked all kinds of stuff. I don't know what the hell. I don't know, I've checked about everything. So I'm calling it quits for the night. I'm exhausted, I'm worn out. So I'm calling it night. Research tomorrow and I really don't wanna to have to pull this training again. I don't. We'll see, call and ask some questions tomorrow. See what I can figure out. Signing off for tonight.